Hi beautiful people, welcome back to A Beautiful Life. So today is one year since the first show of Paul's Got Back Tour. Um, so I wanted to do a video kind of talking about just my experience seeing him and what it was like to see him arrive at the, the venue, the limo watch experience, um, because I hadn't talked about that in a video yet too much. And um, I wanted to take a look a little bit at the program too, and just overall kind of talk about the tour. So let's go ahead and get started. So the show that I went to, um, if you haven't seen my video, was his Syracuse concert. That was um, June 4th, uh, which was a Saturday, and it was at the JMA Wireless Dome, which was formerly the Carrier Dome. And um, so I'll get into my show in a minute. I just want to talk about a couple things in general first. So I really liked, um, at certain stops of the tour, how the, the cities he was visiting did like special things to welcome him. Um, I shared a couple of these um, on my Instagram, I have a got back highlight. For instance, in Seattle, they had this artwork outside the arena on the steps. Um, I'll put a picture in, but it was like Paul's face on the steps. Um, and then in Fort Worth, they did a thing where they renamed temporarily the street by the venue into Paul McCartney Way. And at the um, Hard Rock Hollywood venue he was playing at, they um, had the, the venue all lit up it said Paul and it was all different colors like similar to the colors on his piano um I thought that was all very cool so right after his first show I wanted to see the set list I it's not really possible for me to keep it a surprise for myself I just had to know right away so I went and looked at it and um the big surprise for everyone at the first show was when he did I've Got a Feeling and John was um duetting with him I thought that was so amazing and Right when I saw the video, I knew I couldn't wait to see it in person. So yeah, I definitely didn't um, didn't keep the set list a surprise. I I immediately looked at it. Um, I I was even prepared for the when Paul um, asks all the girls to do a Beatles scream. I knew that was coming, so I was pre prepared for that. So getting into uh, my show, which was Syracuse fun, I wanted to just quickly show some of the merchandise again. I I showed this um, back when I did Paul's birthday video last year. Sorry, the sun just went in, <laughs> um, but I will just quickly go through these. So we have here this uh, portable blanket. You see it folds up and you could carry it. Uh, says Paul McCartney got back on it. And this merchandise was part of the um, what we got with the soundcheck package that we have for this concert. And then we have this uh, collapsible water bottle. You can see you stretch it out like this and then it uh, goes back down. And it says Paul McCartney got back on the top and it is leak proof durable and hot and cold friendly and then we have this um, ticket magnet usually when we've gotten these tickets in the packages in the past it's been like a more of a paper ticket but this is a magnet this time i'll actually get a previous one so i could show you so here's an example uh this was from when we saw him at metlife stadium which was 2016 and you can see this is a uh, paper ticket. Then this one is a magnet. And then we have the lanyard that we got. <laughs> and then this um, I just saved just because this is our parking pass from the event. So we were lucky we got in a really good parking lot, uh, really close to the venue. And then the merchandise came in this uh, clear tote bag. I wish this zipped up though. And um, I have some confetti in the bottom here that I saved because you know at every show I grab as much confetti as I can at the end. So that's in there. And then I have one already on my wall right there. but. Um, there's this poster that came with this package as well, and it says our show on it, Syracuse. And then this is the tour program. I haven't actually done a full in-depth video on this. I'll just do a, um, a look at some highlights of it. So here is the front. So here is Paul's message. I'll read this. At the end of every show, I used to say to the audience, see you next time. Then the pandemic hit and we had to put things on hold for a while. Now all of us on the tour, the band, the crew, and everyone who brings the show to your town are happy to be getting back on the Got Back Tour. 
It's been a strange couple of years for everyone in the world, and it makes us even more excited to get back on the road, break the instruments out of their packing cases, start the trucks up, and bring everything that makes up our show to you. We said we'd get back, well now, we got back. <laughs> so it has all the shows listed here. The venue that I went to, it was renamed like right around the time of the concert, so you could see in here it still says Carrier Dome, but it is now the JMA Wireless Dome. Oh, here's a good picture of Live and Let Die. <laughs> I like this picture here. So in this section they have a Q&A with Paul. Then they have um, a section about McCartney 3. Then they have the section called the A to Z of Paul McCartney. And it talks about a bunch of different things. Glastonbury, Get Back, Forthland Road, The Kiss of Venus. Kind of highlights all through his career. And then they have interviews with the band. And the Hot Sink Horns as well. Then there's a section about the lyrics. I'm very excited for Paul's new book, by the way. And it talks about the Paul McCartney archive collection and his new uh, website. And then there's a part about Get Back. There's a part about Linda and Meat Free Monday. And then some nice pictures here at the end. Then the tour credits. So if you haven't seen my vlog of the concert, I would check that out. Um, there's obviously clips of everything, including the soundcheck dinner, and I, at the end I showed the soundcheck set list. That was amazing, by the way. Um, and definitely for this show, I really love seeing the Hot City Horns, because this was my first time seeing them as part of the show, um, because I didn't, didn't attend the Fresh Enough tour. There was nothing um, in my area, but they are really cool, and they're so energetic, and they add a lot to, to the songs that they play, so that was really great. And I really enjoyed seeing the Egypt Station songs too. I was waiting forever to be able to hear those live. So that was really cool. I love Egypt Station. So last I wanted to talk about the experience of seeing Paul arrive at the venue. Uh, that would be like the limo watch experience. Um, that's what I see them call it on the Fans on the Run Facebook page. So we um, had tried to do that a couple times in the past, but um, like the one time we, we just missed him because we were told to get inside for sound check. So we just missed him. Um, and then one time we must have arrived too late, so we finally saw him this time. So we got to the venue not too long before he arrived. Um, we could see the people lining up, you know, behind the barricade where he was going to be driving past. So uh, there was um, his photographer was there, and he was like, uh, like high fiving it or fist bumping, I think everybody. And um, so there was a security guard there. Um, basically telling us when he was coming and he would say like five more minutes everyone <laughs> and then we get all excited and there was also someone there filming I guess from Paul's team uh, filming us so his band members I think I think Abe arrived first and Wix um, they came first and um, I think Rusty, Rusty and Brian might have followed Paul I can't remember exactly it was a while ago now so we had the idea of singing to Paul as he drove up so everyone started singing the, you'll see in the video clips I'm going to put in, but everyone started singing um, Hey Jude, you know, the na 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 part. Um, but then as Paul got closer and closer, everyone just started screaming. So it was like transitioning. Like some people kept singing, but I just started screaming. So did some girls around me. In my clip, I didn't actually get Paul in the frame because I was obviously making sure I looked at him, not at my phone. So, But you could see me waving at him in the video just to get an idea of uh, how close he was. And I also made sure to take off my sunglasses so I could make direct eye contact with him. Um, but yeah, he had to be, I don't know, maybe, maybe 10 feet away. I, I don't know. I watched all the limo watch videos and in one, one of them, I forget where it was, but he was actually so close that, uh, some guy was able to like grab his hand. Like he was right there. So that would, that would have been amazing. But, uh, this experience was so cool anyway like that was the closest I'd ever been to him um, and like afterwards I was like 
I remember they were putting on my wristband. Oh, I, I, let me get the wristband actually. So here is the wristband. We, um, everyone with floor seats had to wear these and I kept it, of course. So the person was like putting this on my hand and my hand was like shaking <laughs> because Paul only moments ago was like right there. So that was really exciting. So I'll put in a few clips of him going by. Um, I'll start with mine, I guess, and then a couple others that I have. So yes, that was um, Paul arriving at the venue, and that was so amazing. That combined with the sound check, combined with the show itself, it was just an incredible day. Um, so uh, that was my ninth time seeing Paul in concert. I'm, I'm hoping for concert number 10. We, uh, As I'm filming this, we haven't heard anything about um, tour dates, so we'll see. Uh, maybe there will be something this year, um, but that is going to do it for today's video. Um, so I want to say thank you very much for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my channel if you want to see more things like this. And I will, um, as always, link my social media in the description so you could uh, check those out. And as always, have a beautiful day, everybody. Bye-bye.